I uh, first met Bon at a party in Adelaide. I'd just come back from London where I'd been on a working holiday for about 12 months and a friend of mine said that there was a party on by a band called Fraternity and this friend of mine and a, plus another friend was uh, living with Vince Lovegrove at the time who was Bon's partner in the Valentines, a band he was in previously. Um, just went on a working holiday, as a lot of people my age did, I think, around about that time. And so I was away for about uh, 18 months, um, living in London and just going to visit uh, places like Paris and Amsterdam, like was the standard back then, I think. Took a little while. First of all, I, when I first met him, it was at a party in Adelaide. And the girlfriend that I was with um, told me, there was a, quite, a, quite a lot of people at the party, and she pointed out Bon. And I, I saw Bon staggering through the crowd with a pair of shorts on, a woman under one arm, arm and uh, a drink on the other. <laughs> I believe they came to Australia from Scotland, from Kirrimuir when Bon was about six and they settled in Sunshine in Victoria and then moved uh, to WA, Western Australia, because of uh, both, I think, Graham, the younger brother, and Bon had asthma and they wanted to go to a warmer climate. Well, yeah, he had a lot of those, <laughs> a lot of favourites, anything that was alcoholic. At the time, there was a wide variety of different uh, artists, blues. He liked Alex Harvey Band, who were a band from Glasgow at the time. Uh, he also liked a band called Free, with Paul Rogers singing, who was a great singer. Um, just really varied. Anything that caught, it, caught his ear, just a mixture of different music. Yeah, apparently he was uh, a drummer in a pipe band in, uh, with his father, along with his father, and a Scottish pipe band in Perth. And I think one of his earlier bands too that he was in uh, when he was a teenager, it may have been the Spectres or... Uh, anyway, it was an earlier band. He was also a drummer. Um, well, he was with, he had been with a band called Fraternity. We were in England together after they had won a band uh, competition in Australia. Uh, we all went to England after I'd met and married Bon. And the band that he was in was called Fraternity. But after coming back from England with their tail between their legs after not making it in England, uh, the band was more or less disbanding but trying to find other members, and that was the band Bond was in. The uh, wives supported the, the band members. I, I had a, a day job as a receptionist and a nighttime job, a uh, metal caster. And I think Bond took on odd jobs such as wig making. That didn't last for very long. He did find a job that he liked towards the end of our time there, and that was working as a barman. No, he, he never started fights. He was usually the first one to jump into a fight to help, help a mate out or to break it up. Uh, he was never a troublemaker, but he could look after himself if he, if he was ever picked on or, or if he needed to, as I said, help someone out. Um, a lovely sense of humour. He was a warm person, uh, got along very well with uh, older people and also little kids. He was known to take uh, Smarties, which is a little chocolate lolly, in little packets anywhere that he knew there were going to be kids. But he also got along great with my grandma and my mother. Um, I was a bit worried when I was first going out with them that it might all fall through. So I said to my mother, uh, he's been in jail, you know. But that, did, that all she replied was, oh, Oh, but he's lovely, isn't he? So <laughs> that didn't work with trying to put my mother off. Well, a number of things, really. We we had lived in um, England in not very 
great circumstances, a whole lot of couples all together with kids, babies, and even a dog thrown in. And uh, it was very hard at the time uh, with all the women working and uh, trying to make ends meet and the guys not getting the the uh, band work that they were hoping to get. And uh, winter coming along and, you know, expectations sort of went from hope hopefulness to uh, despair towards the end. So everyone was more or less, you know, arguing and... I don't think there was a couple that wasn't affected by it all. Uh, it was very hard. And uh, so then we came back from Australia, uh, back to Australia from, from the UK after a rough time. Uh, I had still kept letters that I wrote during that time to, uh, uh, to my mother, so I... I get a reminder from reading these how I felt at the time. I was full of hope in the beginning and had said to my mum how I, you know, don't worry about me, I still love him and, you know, we still care about each other. But you could tell my, frustra my frustration with the circumstances when you're the one that was mainly, you know, holding it together financially. It, it was pretty hard on, I think I was only 21 at the time. Yeah, I do have fond memories of him, and and uh, yeah, I think about. Uh, I still think about him. It's a bit hard to not think about him. You still hear his, you know, the band ACDC on the radio, or they're mentioned from time to time, and and you know, I still hear him, and I still see him all those years, many years later after he's passed away. Bond apparently had been out to. Uh, a nightclub and had quite a bit to drink that night and quite a bit to drink means heaps of drink and apparently towards in the early hours of the morning when they got back to his mate's play, place uh, he, he wasn't able to be woken up because he'd uh, passed out from all the alcohol and apparently his mate had found it having found it difficult to wake him up, left him in the car during the night and uh, because of the cold and the alcohol, he uh, unfortunately passed away in the car. Uh, I, I doubt it because we've sort of gone in different directions and he he's the first thing and the first main love of his life was always uh, always music and and you came second to that and I think the bigger that he would have got the more the more he was out there in the world and I think I would have lost him.